Hello. I asked you guys on Tumblr what you would like to talk about for Let's Talk Tuesday today, and I got a couple of really cool responses, so I'm going to use one today. From Tumblr user, I wrote some of it down. When I was a teenager, I flat out believed that nobody in this world would ever feel physically attracted to me because I am disabled. Did you experience this? Did it change? How? So there you have it. It's Let's Talk Tuesday, so let's talk about feeling attractive while disabled. When I first started using mobility aids, my first aid was a cane. And it didn't feel too bad. Um, and I think it has something to do with like gender roles and media representation. It always comes back to that, doesn't it? <laughs> we see canes in movies all the time, and they're often worn in a very fashionable way. And characters that use canes are often still seen as attractive characters like like dr house uses a cane and he's still seen as incredibly sexy so i felt okay i felt honestly like it gave me a little oomph i felt i felt like i got to play i don't know a little not so femme up like, ugh, don't even get me started about ugh, gender roles right now. <laughs> but when I had to start using a wheelchair, it was a little bit different. And it it was a little harder to take. I'm pretty tall. I'm 5'8", and with the wheelchair, I became a bit under 4'8". And it was quite an adjustment. I had to start looking up at everybody. People would be unable to see me. Um, there were people who wouldn't look at me. They would look at the person who was pushing me, but they wouldn't look at me. And my self-esteem took a really hard hit. I was really in a bad place. Um, but I feel like that's common. Like when you start losing your abilities that you're so used to having, like there's this time of mourning, you know, like you gotta, you, you gotta mourn like losing something that was very precious to you and our abilities tend to be very precious to us even if we take them for granted. I'm ashamed to say that a thought that I had was, wow, I thought I was ugly before? Pfft, it's really game over now. No one's ever going to love me now. Which honestly was probably my body dysmorphic disorder and depression talking. My health has a way of triggering both. Currently, I feel really silly for thinking that, not because I'm in a relationship or anything, but the beginning is certainly an adjustment, and I didn't feel cute, but I was determined not to let it take over my life in that way. There were several communities online that I found really helpful. There was hashtag Spoonies, hashtag Hospital Glam, and please excuse my slur if you're not comfortable with it. Um, hashtag cripple punk or hashtag C punk if you do not want to use the slur. Those were around and it was filled with people reclaiming the slur, proud to be disabled, or just expressing themselves with dignity. And it was so empowering. It was like right there at the most perfect timing. I was like, Wow, man. Disabled people are beautiful as heck. What? And if they can do it, I can do it. Go, girl, go. Put on some of those clothes that you used to wear pre-disability. <laughs> Finding my identity again and not letting my wheelchair be my identity was very important because we live in an extremely ableist society. People don't often see me the way I see me. When I go out in my wheelchair, I see myself as a fully flushed human being who just happens to be in a chair. Silly me, right? <laughs> but a lot of people don't see human. They just see a wheelchair. Do I think I'll be forever alone? Maybe. That doesn't really bother me. I'm not one of those people who believe that there's someone for everyone, and I am absolutely okay with that. <laughs> I don't feel attractive because people are attracted to me. I'm sure there are people who are attracted to me. In fact, I'm a hundred percent sure that there are people attracted to me. 
because I've not gone without proposals and pursuers. <laughs> but ultimately, I've had to say thanks, but no thanks. Because relationships just don't interest me for the time being. The important thing is that I found my identity again. That when I look in the mirror, I see myself. And I love myself. The wheelchair is just like an accessory. A very important accessory, but an accessory nonetheless. Just as much as a purse or a scarf or anything else. Remember that you are so much more than how attractive you are found by others. If romance and sexual activity is something that's really important to you, it's not impossible, and I'm sure you'll find someone. Disability and illness are kind of the world's best filters, though, right? For the most part, except for the people who fetishize your disabilities and illness. But if someone can't see you for you, and not your disability, and not your illness, if they cannot see your personhood, you don't want anything to do with that ableist asshole. <laughs> You don't want to be with someone who doesn't see someone with disabilities as human and as a beautiful human at that. You don't need that in your life. So it's a fabulous filter for shitty people. Just makes it all the easier. What's important is how you feel about yourself. So find the things that make you feel good about yourself, whether it's outfits or photo shoots or activities like playing music or watching a movie or creating things. Making stuff reminds me that I'm a human. Reminds me that I'm alive. People who are not crappy humans are going to see you as human. And a lot of them are going to see you as beautiful as well. Make sure that you think you're sexy. That you think you're beautiful. Make sure that you feel good about yourself. And the rest will follow. Okay, give me a hug. Oh, cutie. All right, everyone. So as usual, I love for Let's Talk Tuesday to start a conversation in the comments. So leave me a comment and let me know if you've ever struggled with your body image and how you cope with it. And I will return with another video tomorrow, probably. Okay, bye. <laughs>